Hey Internet, my name is Abby and welcome back to the coffee break in Minecraft. There's a poor skeleton and let me just check, are we creeper free or is there someone waiting for us? Let me just have a quick look and no, I think we are creeper free. I have my leather bucket, everything looks great. Okay, let me now venture out. And okay, I'm down to a three bread, so I think I should at first have a short visit at my sheep and at my um, wheat farm, so that I can restock my bread. And is there someone waiting? No, this time there is no one waiting for us. Very good. And yeah, today is Wednesday, um, November 19th, and yeah, we are well progressing through the November and uh, well, I have to talk once again a little bit about the weather because well um november weather currently is like the weather normally in october it's quite warm well it's it's not really warm but it's around uh, 7 to 10 degrees and now it started raining or yesterday it started raining and it rained the whole day and this was a little bit bad because i wanted to go out running and well i don't have really good rainproof jackets for running and so running in the rain is for me always annoying and well i'm thinking about buying a sports jacket for for running outdoors when it's raining but well these things are also to some degree a little bit expensive so i'm not quite sure i'm doing fine with all my other things i can wear for for running but uh, well not so particular well in rain so it's a little bit annoying and right now it's still raining outside so maybe i will just say okay nuts to this i will go out and i will go running uh, i will take a shower afterwards anyway so it doesn't matter if i'm wet or not so yeah we will see and yeah so uh, weather as i said uh, it's like october but we are already late in november maybe i should grab also some chicken as uh, some food let me just grab all these eggs i do have a lot of eggs okay so um iron eggs yeah okay this is doing a nice job more or less poor chicken but i'm hungry i'm hungry and i have a lot of eggs to hopefully respawn new chicken okay so um 16 chicken uh 16 more chicken not bad not bad okay let me now hopefully spawn some new ones and okay one two sorry guys sorry sorry um um i'm sorry okay uh no 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 not the raw chicken the egg let me just see and yeah this is this is really uh, really strange when you think okay uh we are coming toward the december and normally uh, the first snow starts to fall late october or during the first weeks of november and now it's almost halfway through november and well we still haven't seen any snow or anything like this and so this is this is really strange uh, well i think and i'm not quite sure i think we have really the global warming going on and i hope this time we will have some winter because i talked already about this over the last or over the the whole period of my coffee breaks that i really missed the, the winter and the last season and this was this was really sad and well now I hope that this time we have more luck with the winter and yeah, we will see, we will see, but uh, I definitely noticed that uh, it's pretty strange outside and it's quite warm for November and yeah, it's pretty unusual if you're able to, to walk outside still in a t-shirt in November and yeah, especially for Germany. So, um, okay, then speaking about cold things, uh, one thing about the Philae Lander, because they tried to do some drillings and to uh, analyze how the core is looking like of their Comet 67P. And, well, I already talked about this in the last episode, that there was not so much time in order to... I think I should put my chicken into the furnace while I'm waiting for some more glass. Yeah, let me let me just do this. Let me just move back over to my cabin to put the chicken into my furnace. And um, 
yeah, so they were running out of energy or uh, out of electricity, but uh, they managed to do some drillings. But surprisingly, they weren't or they haven't reached so deep into the the nucleus as anticipated because the the structure of the comet or the ice of the structure is pretty hard, and this was quite surprising for the scientists because uh, well, not be I'm not quite sure. Uh, I guess they thought. Okay, this is this is pretty easy. We just drill inside, and then we can get some examples. But no, no, the comet surface seems to be pretty hard, hard as ice, and this is quite surprising. And it's interesting to know that the comet is quite hard. And well, it's maybe also quite necessary, especially when you think about that the comet uh, flies, or that often comets fly pretty close to the sun, and um, when they're... what am I doing here? And when they get quite close to the sun, um, sometimes they survive the, the flight around the sun and they not disintegrate immediately, so um, I guess that's also the reason why or well, this is caused by the 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 hardness of the ice, or so I guess. And well, yeah, this was interesting. And then they had also an instrument called. Uh, I noted this somewhere here. Uh, let me just see uh, the the instrument called Kozak. And this thing was somehow in sniff mode. And it sniffed some uh, organic molecules, and they these molecules were outgassing right from the comet surface. So this sounds interesting. This sounds definitely interesting to um, get some more insights into this, because especially when you think about um, these comets might have brought the water to our Earth, so that we do have uh, water on Earth, and maybe they were even the 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 tools that caused our life because they brought the first or organic materials down to earth also in the early times also I'm not quite sure maybe this is the reason uh, why we exist or so so this is this is very very interesting and well this is also the one of the main purpose of the um, Rosetta and the Philly spacecraft to find out a little bit more about the the whole how has water reached Earth and why do we have water on Earth and was it brought by comets down to Earth and so on and yeah this this is really exciting and now when they are able to sniff some organic molecules then this is even more interesting and yeah it's, it's exciting times and it's really sad that the um, the Philly lander is now out of electric charge so that we are not able to gain more uh, insights and more results we can just hope that at some point the the sun gets strong enough that um, although there are some shadow on the solar panels uh, yeah we are able to or they are able to to restart the lander and wake up the lander once again, so that we can get more results. But yeah, this this is definitely exciting times. And yeah, then I have the next topic I wanted to wrap up, and this is the World of Warcraft topic. Um, I managed to reach finally their maximum level with my with my avatar. Um, well, since then. Still, sure, I played a little bit the game, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, maybe I missed something, or I'm not quite sure. But the whole expansion pack feels a little bit short. I'm not quite sure. Uh, well, the the quests were okay, but as I already said, they were pretty standard quests, like okay, kill a certain amount of mobs, or collect a certain amount of items, or do this, or do that, and uh, yeah, so. This is this was okay, but um, I much more enjoyed the surrounding and well, the environment is really great. And well, those are the quests were pretty standard. And then I visited also some dungeons, and here yeah, the dungeons are okay, but well, I'm not quite I'm not finished with all the dungeons or with all the new dungeons implemented to the game and added to the game, but. Um, yeah, wait, let me just store this wool in here and the black wool. Do I have something else to store in here? No, I can grab the glass and... Oh, it's getting already late, I think. Uh, the next day we will spend once again in the cave. 
too because I like to use this cave maybe as a good point for my portal. As I said, I like to go to the nether and I think I could place the portal inside the cave and so I like to maybe... Uh, I'm not quite sure what should I do or will I build the portal somewhere else? Uh, and I have to check my furnace once again about the material. Uh, dang it, how much cobblestone I have left so that I can uh, create enough of these slabs and finish off the uh, yeah the the floor of my of my terminal and then we have to come up with a solution for the entrance this is also a thing I completely neglected and yeah so let me at first run over to my turret to get some sleep and yeah where was I oh yeah World of Warcraft and yeah, I'm. I'm not quite sure. I'm maybe a little bit disappointed that it feels so, so that there isn't so much content, or at least I think there is not so much content. I need to check out, as I said, different dungeons. But uh, the first dungeon I've seen were were interesting from the from the environment once again. And oh, there's a creeper. And this is always cool. But once you have seen, dang it, once you have seen a dungeon for the first time or maybe for the second time you get used to it and yeah then there is where is my arrow I missed okay it's over here and then you get used to it and well the the bosses and the monsters weren't so special at least on my side or I I find uh, they were not really really challenging and so I'm not, sh not quite sure um okay now we are using the cobblestone and we have some cobblestone left. I think it might be enough cobblestone but wait glass. I don't think we have enough glass to finish 32 panes. No I don't think that this is enough so I think we need to go and grab some more sand in order to produce more glass. Maybe I will venture out this way this time in this direction over there. And yeah, I think I will do this right away, and then I have to keep my my eye on my uh, clock so that I'm not running out of time, or that, uh, so that I'm not getting too late in the day once again, so that we can still have some some colorful footage, and you're not just seeing a black screen or so. And yeah, so uh, I'm I'm not quite sure. Maybe I missed something, but I have a slight feeling that the uh, the expansion pack is not as big as it could have been. And yeah, we will see, we will see. Uh, as I said, a lot of dungeons are still left to discover and maybe there are some more things. And yeah, okay, so um, I'm not quite sure about World of Warcraft. I have the slight feeling they they really could have added more variety. They really, oh, there's already some sand, but maybe I find some more in this particular direction. Or maybe they could have uh, added more variety or added some more innovation to the game or so because I think the game really lacks innovation and um, yeah I think this wraps up now my this could be a great harbor this is nice this is really nice okay um, yeah so much about that and then a long time ago I wanted to talk about uh, why uh, sometimes science or scientific results seem to be a little bit late and well this is due to the fact um well it's it's not the general purpose they are also there's a lot of gravel this is nice um I think I will just claim or will I remember that here's some gravel no I think I will claim this gravel right away because as I said at some point I want to create my um, my my Iceland and yeah I want to recreate my Iceland experiences and so I need some gravel and why is here now water flowing and let me okay this is strange it's definitely strange but okay um the sand or no, it's clay. Clay is also pretty interesting. Let me also grab some clay. I like the structure of clay. Let me just grab some of this. There is some more gravel, but I think I should check more for sand, because this is why I'm now venturing out. Well, here is... Ah, 
He has a lot of sand, but it's hard to get. Okay, um, I wanted to talk about why sometimes it seems that scientific results are quite late and well. I got an interesting call for papers and I'm really looking forward to to write a paper and to to submit this paper in the hope that I can uh, or that my paper gets accepted and that my paper gets published and so because that's all about in uh, in science to get your results published and to increase your reputation and so on and yeah so and uh, when I'm now going through this, there are some important dates, and let me just read them to you. Um, the submission deadline for the first... What is this? A lever pool. This is cool. This is cool. And, okay, uh, let me... I pick. Let me just continue. I hope I'm not suddenly dropping into the lever. This would be pretty bad. And wait, this could be also quite useful if I, at some point, create some kind of passage for the water, then I could create some obsidian and I can use this obsidian for my, my portal. This is, this is also useful, this is great. Okay, um, the deadline, or the deadline for the submission of the first paper is uh, March 1st, 2015, so quite, uh, a little bit time is left for me to write my, my paper. And then the reviews are completed on June 1st, so um, that's three months later. And well, this is also a one important thing in science, that all your results get reviewed. So you are submitting your, your paper and then some other scientists or professors or uh, PhDs are reviewing your paper, yet they are reading it and they are checking if this makes sense or if the science uh, or your your methods are okay and yeah, so um, it gets reviewed that everything is in order to make sure that the quality is okay of your results and then on... how... Oh, okay, I think this would be enough glass to finish my... to finish off my, my thingy, my... My, my my terminal and okay so much about this then the major revisions due uh, so if the 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 peer, the peer reviewer says okay you have to improve your your paper is due on September 1st so uh, three months later again so we are already halfway into the whole process of the the paper thingy uh, apart from the fact that I have to write it in advance but yeah, then um, the minor revisions uh, would be due on October 1st, notification of final acceptance. So I guess, I'm not quite sure, but I guess this is, uh, they check again if they are happy with, their, with the revisions you've made and if they are happy with all the changes you have made and then you get the final uh, the final information about if your paper is accepted, and this is on November 1st, so this is more than a, more than half a year later than you have started the whole submission process, and then publication materials for final manuscript due is December 1st, so nine months later you have to uh, submit the the final paper you want to have uh, you want to publish. And the publication date is the uh, first issue, or as uh, well the first issue of the journal in 2016. So yeah, it's basically uh, about almost a uh, full year you are spending on making sure that your paper is in order and to publish your paper. And well, I have, uh, if I am now saying maybe, or if I'm now talking maybe about the the results from my Kerbal Space Program experiment I was talking about. And um, yeah, if I'm now taking these results and I like to publish them and I'm writing or I got these results, uh, let's say at the end of this year, then in the next three months I uh, analyze these results, I write my paper and I submit it, then it will take about nine months uh, until these results are really published and well this is to some degree their point why uh, some results are seem to be quite late but this is the dang it this is uh, the 
the normal process and well it's it's quite good that that's uh, that so many um, reviews are done because well uh, it helps to ensure the quality and it helps to make sure that the results are really good and that you are not uh, publishing any nonsense or anything like this so this is this is really important but on the other hand it's quite interesting to see how long uh, uh, it takes to to publish a paper and yeah this this is pretty interesting and well, on the other hand, sometimes there's also a call for papers for a conference or so, or for a workshop. And yeah, you're you're creating this paper, and half a year later is the conference. So you have to go through the same thing that there's a peer review, and they are checking that your paper is or your results are good and that you've done a good work. And then you have to maybe. Uh, make some changes to your paper uh, if they find some issues and yeah then it got, gets published but all the time it really takes some time and of course sometimes uh, some results are more important than other results or well then they get published a little bit earlier especially when you think about some major findings in spaceflight or so they get published quite quite first and well this is of due to the fact that these are really huge and big and important results, but if you're talking about the the regular science of the regular PhD student, then this this really takes some time, and uh, often these are the findings that are really interesting. And so so yeah, this this is this is really really interesting and I just wanted to share this knowledge with you so that you get also a little bit more insight into the academic work and how, how long sometimes things are taking and that you have to go through several revisions in order to make sure that the quality is okay and yeah this is often taking some time and well on the other hand it's also quite interesting to think about this and yeah so now I finished my 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 thoughts about World of Warcraft. I finished my thoughts about uh, Philae. I finished my thoughts about the uh, long-term uh, publishing process of a paper. And here, yeah, I think we are now coming to an end. I hope you liked this, and I hope you will be joining me in the next episode when we continue with our coffee break. Um. Yeah, it's still raining outside, unfortunately. And yeah, in this case, until next time, my name is Abby. See you.